let's take a tour of the Minecraft Education Edition app and explore all of the resources and settings that are available to you as an educator. The first thing that I'm going to point out on this home screen is the version number. This is especially important if you are going to be using multiplayer in your classroom. Every student will need to be on the same version of the game. This hanger here allows you to change your skin or what you appear and look like in Minecraft. Right now I have on this lovely pink dress. I can scroll down and look at the other options. And I think this holiday sweater looks nice. You can pick anything that resonates with you. In settings, you can change things like audio, if you don't want everyone's Minecraft music playing together in your classroom, or things like language. If we go back, I'm going to hit play, and you will see all of these various options. The first being View My Worlds. View My Worlds, if I click in here, will show me all of the previous worlds and projects that I have worked on. If I am working on a project over multiple class periods or an extended period of time, I can go in here and continue working on that same world or elect to host it and have other people join. View Library has lessons, monthly build challenges, biomes, and how to play. If you're new to Minecraft, I suggest starting here in how to play. There are six new user tutorials that teach you how to maneuver in Minecraft, how to break and place blocks, and how to use the in-game assessment features like the camera and portfolio, chalkboards, and NPCs. Lessons are our nine subject kits. In here, you can explore different curriculum sets, individual lessons, and you will see new subject kits at the bottom down here, like equity and inclusion and social emotional learning. If we click in here, you will be able to explore all of the various resources. If we go to monthly build challenges, these are activities that we launch every month. The new ones show up at the beginning and are meant to be easy to launch activities for any educator to get students building and collaborating with each other quickly. We also have biomes and worlds. In here, if your students are going to be primarily building or you're doing an easy math lesson, you can start in something like blocks of grass, which is the most basic world, or the desert biome. If you're going to be having students build a story setting, these biomes are great launcher worlds when students are going to be the ones primarily building in Minecraft. Down here, you will see join world. If I am trying to join someone else's world and they provide me a join code, I can put that code in here. Or import. Import is where we can import other world files that I have downloaded from the website. Maybe my teacher shared a world file with me, I downloaded it, and now I'm gonna import into the game so I can use it. That was a quick tour to get you started with all of the settings and places to explore in Minecraft Education Edition.